looking both at animal models of depression and the effects of ketamine, as well as some human studies now. It's thought that the, the basic idea of the mechanism is that the chronic effects of stress, including depression, take their toll on the brain and they cause structural change. They can cause loss of volume in certain structures of the brain, and it can also disrupt connections amongst important areas of the brain that are responsible for learning, memory, emotion, and mood regulation. And that ketamine may help to undo the damaging effects of that stress, particularly depression. And so by blocking a receptor called the NMDA receptor, it sets into motion a couple of, uh, a couple of pathways. Uh, one sort of a start pathway and one a stop pathway. Uh, the start pathway turning on certain proteins that are necessary for that type of repair and turning off the brakes on that pathway. And so in that way, within hours, you're able to get repair of the damage caused by depression.